Okay, so I went through and did the full install for customer out in Utah on this 2003 Master Master Replicas uh, Luke ROTJ. Right now, it's only it's still set up in the 1.0 software, so I'm going to be upgrading it to 2.0, and I'll show you the car and everything. Right now, I got masking tape because I bonded it to the chassis, but this is running a single button setup. And this is uh, one replica's clamp card right here, so. Down here, there's nothing. Normally, you have a two switch setup, but the customer preferred uh, the Verso board with the single button setup. And honestly, I, I like the single button setup much better with the Verso card as well. So, yeah. So, this is from One Replicas. We, the hilt and the actual clamp card almost came at the same time. Uh, this coming in from Germany and the hilt coming from Utah <laughs> and it just with weather delays and everything the the hilt just came in just right before so I'm gonna take this apart quick unscrew this and show you what the chassis looks like the chassis the original chassis I got from uh, the Sabre Merchant off of Etsy and I modified it so that the chassis would fit inside here and then modified the lower section so that it would it would stop right in the lower section and then the, the bottom portion would fit exactly inside of this pommel section here okay so I got a pommel loosened and then you can see the bottom portion of the chassis I used a 3d printing pen to expand the bottom base of the chassis so that it would slide it right up to this point and not go in any farther. So this fits nice and snug inside since there is a recess inside the pommel. So this cuts down on the amount of motion that the chassis has and then it'll help eliminate false clashes. Still have the masking tape on this thing. so. Right now, I got some E6000 holding this board in place. It's got a nice little fit spot right there. And then right here where the heat shrink is, that is where I joined the positive lines. So the positive lead from the battery, the positive, the return for the switch, and the positive lead going out to the tri -cree. So he wanted all Jedi colors, so he went with uh, blue, green, white, LED, tri -cree, which I got from the Custom Saber shop. Down here, you can see the Panasonic battery, 18650, 3.7 volt battery. And then right now, I'm planning on going upstairs and setting up the SD card for the 2.0 software and get this thing updated with the, the newer sound fonts and features for the tri -Cree. So this is a light green setup right here. So let's switch it over to the color wheel. There we go, get the green going. Change the flicker. So with, with the way the hilt is set up right now, this is incredibly light, so it's really good.
I honestly think that the owner is really going to love it as light as it is because it, it just feels good in the hands. With the small clamp box. Change it to white. Yeah, this thing feels really good. So with the 2.0 update, it's got three sound fonts on it automatically. So. Got that accent swing in there. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button. And if you like what you've been watching, uh, please hit the subscribe button. To see our latest video, click on the link to the right. Thank you again. Later, later.